Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. This is my level 80 Draconian Minefield target using my fully built, full, partially upgraded Punisher Mark II fleet. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to be driving all five ships together, although when this was a raid target, I was using five partially built ships under dock weight 15, and other people are having just as much luck as I am using three Punishers instead of five. You can also do this target with just your flagship on auto. If it's upgraded, it does do considerably better here. So I'm going to start out by taking out these top couple turret clusters here on either side of the first gate, either side of the first portal, and then go around and kill these trash buildings on the outside just so I don't have to come back to them later or get distracted by them in any way. You'll notice here that I'm going to be trying to use the tank method I have been using in this raid in the last raid cycles on this target, which is keeping the flagship, which has a Vade on it, slightly ahead of everything else to help reduce damage on this fleet. That's because of the actual target mechanics of these, which I'll explain as we go along. Also note, interestingly, I'm not having to actually try and avoid the mines unless I want practice or something, because the mines in this target don't deal damage, and you could auto this thing if you wanted to. So I'm going to charge in straight to the center, and then after the center cluster is down, I can slowly head over to the right side of the target, again trying to keep my flagship just ahead of everything else, but still inside the purple aura range. There are no hellfire throwers in this target, whatever they are called, the flamethrowers, so you don't have to worry about trying to stay moving the whole time, you can go slow, take it easy, relax and slow down here. Now I'm going to again take my flagship as a tank, move it out ahead of everything else, and that's because the turrets in this particular target are all dealing accuracy-based splash damage, which means they shoot at my flagship, which has a bait on it. If it misses, it misses and nothing happens. If it hits, it does splash damage to that ship and all of the ships around it, which is why you want to evade on this first ship here. In my opinion, this is by far the best target to hit in this raid if you want sea time and you want to grind it out because it's a really, really low damage target and you have multiple options. You can use five ships, five partially built ships, or even just three punishers here. And even just the flagship too, if you have that and want to auto that, it does take longer to do, but if you're doing nothing else and you want to auto it and your phone still works for this game, great. So I'm in this last couple turret clusters here and you'll notice I am using a Dragon Slayer's crew, which does help with the it helps with draconian holes and gives them reload as well as turn speed in these targets, which is re really good. You can also use building damage crews or a sea serpent's crew to add turn speed as well as evade to help reduce some damage in here. But I'm using most of my sea serpent's crews that I roll on my zealot fleets in the top targets, which I do have videos of on my channel for those too. Looks like the target's pretty much wrecked here, and there's only a couple trash buildings left right here. In this one, you could just press auto at any point and have the fleet take over on auto, which would be great because you don't have to worry about any mines. There's the target. Let's now see the damage and the build and the battle report for this thing. Looks like damage is mostly even ballistic and radioactive. 6% ballistic and 7% radioactive taken. And here's the resistances on the enemy. Target took... Gave me 100,000 points for 8 minutes of repair, which you can easily get down to instant on map with better driving, and is definitely instant in base. Most of the damage, again, is on the flagship because of the tank method that I am using. Here is the build that I am using. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below on the build or anything else. I'll be happy to answer them. The build should also be a kickside hash code in the YouTube comments or description. As far as the set, this target is part of the A set, which pays out 100,000 points bonus, which is a really, really small bonus compared to the actual damage you get for killing these targets. I actually think if you're doing these Punisher targets, it's best to only do the level 80 target, hit that 10, 20, 100 times, and just get points for doing that one over and over. Should be instant repair in base with relatively few ways to mess that up. So I hope, it video, I hope this video helped. If it did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Let me know that and that really helps me out, really helps the channel out. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.